Hello, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we have a slug called the Rainmaker, made by no other than Evan Perry. Can you guess what these are made out of? I'll tell you in a minute. Now today we have a total of five of these to test out, and no two are exactly the same. There's slight variations between them. For the most part, they're made out of solid brass, and they have a hole that goes all the way through the center. Now in case you haven't figured it out yet, these are made from the ball joints from shower heads. Is it a good idea? Or not a good idea. Well, on three of these, the internal diameter was just the right size to fit a 22 shell in. While this was kind of a bad idea, it did bring up the weight closer to one ounce. Okay, let's go out and test these things. Well, I know what you're asking yourself. How did Jeff get Jason Statham on the channel? Well, surprise, it's actually me, Officer Greg. Jeff's behind the camera. I'm on vacation, so I got a little bit of a facial hair going on. Uh, Brandon's out here with us today with his little chin diaper. We've got another amazing creation from Evan down in Texas. Evan is, uh, has, has worked out these all brass slugs, but they have a little chamber in them. Jeff has shown you this on the tabletop by now. The little chamber contains a 22 long rifle shell. We're going to uh, fire these things out of smooth bore and rifled, I think. I think just rifled. Let's okay. just do rifle. All right. Rifling makes everything better. We already yeah. know that. So we're gonna fire these things out of a rifled barrel and we're gonna determine whether or not, hopefully on the high-speed camera, whether the slug actually ignites the 22 round in the barrel as it's flying, whether the 22 round flies ahead of the slug, the slug catches up to the 22 and beats it up. We don't know what's gonna go on downrange. <laughs> I think it's a terrible idea. There's no practical <laughs> reason for it. It's a 22 Other than a science of how things work, yes. you know? There is, yeah, there is no practical reason. This is not a good home defense round. Because if you've got to rely on a 22 round in your 12 gauge slug, you got a bad 12 gauge. We, we, we need to come up with a good name for it. We, we're kicking uh, around some ideas. It's like the... The birthing, it's a birthing slug. It gives birth to a 22. <laughs> or the, the slug gun, you said? Yeah, the slug it's chamber. like a, it's a gun. You're shooting a, essentially a chamber, which is like part of a gun. Yeah. And, I don't know. Maybe it's the... Uh, my uh, ideas are always bad. It's the 2212, kind of like naming a... Uh, the inception round, ooh, is it? Wow, the, wait a second. The conception round? Well... I don't know. Yeah. So, we're going to give it a try. But realize we only have three with the the 22s in there. The, those are the only ones that fit because they're all made out of like different... Whatever he made, these doorknobs or shower heads or whatever he made. These yeah, <laughs> he hand whittles these things on a lathe, so... Uh, they can all be a little bit different as far as uh, chamber size, but you can see there a 22 round waiting for you inside of a slug. But we're gonna, this will be, be clear, we're gonna shoot the ones without the 22 first. Just to see how the slug itself goes. Because okay. he, he didn't plan on us to do in this, and it was just a suggestion from me. He's like, hey, how about we do this? And uh, we wanna see how the slugs do, just as they are too, you know? All right. Well, it's about 118 degrees out here right now. Oh, it's horrible. So uh, we're gonna get back under the shade that uh, viewer and guest shooter Jeffrey McKinda provided us. Thank you very much, Jeff. He gave us that cool pop-up tent for uh, permanent use here on the show, and today it's saving our lives. So yeah, yes. let's duck back inside and get these rounds down range. Huh. In shot number one, we can immediately see that this is a really nice flying slug. Evan definitely knows his stuff. We've seen some really expensive factory slugs that are nowhere as stable flying as these things, even using full rifling. With the weight of the slug and my powder load, 30 grains of long shot, this thing is traveling over 1,500 feet per second. So we have a tremendous amount of energy hitting that Kevlar vest behind that Alaskan ballistic t-shirt. Thank you for sending that to us. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Looks like a little Lego with a flock of seagulls hair. <laughs> so look at that core of uh, wow. Kevlar plugged up in that hole. Nice. Other than that, not a whole lot of deformation. A little bit there on the tip. It looks like grandma's urn, actually. <laughs> see, that one you couldn't put a, anything in. Yeah. It's yeah, too see big. What you mean. It's still hot. Of course, it's also hot out here. So yeah, you know, everything's hot. The air is probably hotter than a fired round, but you can see the hole right through it. Yep. Well, we got passed through. Hit back there on the back. 
Greg is using the same point of aim and once again the slug hits slightly to the left. Remember all slugs have different ballistics and there's no one setting of the sights that will accommodate all slugs. Now this gummy bear is made out of plastisol which is what bait fish is made out of. I did not do a very good job casting this. I didn't get the temperatures right. I might have got some contamination in there. But we have a little different reaction than we normally see with the clear ballistics gummy bears. Right. So we saw some pretty gory damage. We don't, uh, we don't usually get this kind of gore out of ballistic jelly, but this plastisol stuff is awesome. Look at this. Look at that little perfect cylinder core that came out of the... <laughs> just cut it right out. Yeah, that, that uh, slug, you remember, has a hole all the way through it. So it just cookie cuttered that little core sample <laughs> right out of the middle of this guy. But man, look at that wound. And left us a bigger hole than we normally see out of ballistic jelly. Yeah, a little different reaction. Yeah, it tears. See over here, ballistic jelly would stretch and come back to life. This has torn him in a couple places. That, that, yeah, yeah. That wouldn't happen, but... Oof. I feel fix that with a heat gun I don't know <laughs> <laughs> or a tarp or throw it you away might have noticed he didn't hit the ground that's right <laughs> okay you've seen Jerry Michelob shoot a head of cabbage online it explodes nice and big we have a uh, uh, a head of purple cabbage out here for you got more lumps it, it was a lot cheaper than the watermelon I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah or any uh, pork shoulder yeah 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 it's about as lumpy as uh, Ray Liotta's face but <laughs> is it too soon Ray Liotta did just leave us. So. Did he? Yeah. Who is he? Uh, he's an actor. Oh, okay. Good fellas, you know. Uh, oh, okay. Always had that weird little plasticky smile. We're going to put the cabbage here on uh, the Danny plant stand and uh, see if we can't explode it. Okay, I am ready. All right. I don't know if I'm ready, but <laughs> let's give it a try. Why not? We've Keep your hands some, away from the... We've shot some crazy shit here, so... Yeah, yeah. It can't be any worse. Right. All okay. right. Go for it. Here we go, right on the onion. Well, something blew up the cabbage. With the 22 long rifle shell inside there adding more weight, we have a little different ballistics going on. Again, we're shooting a little to the left. Remember that all five of these slugs are slightly different from one another. But when we use the same point of aim, we at least get an idea of how well these group. And they're doing pretty well, actually. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. I'm over here making drinks like Tom Cruise and cocktail. <laughs> All right. When you are ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Woo! Now if we look close, we can see that the 22 shell is still inside the slug. We wanted to capture one of the slugs and see what was going on to see if the 22 has actually gone off or if it's just acting like dead weight. Once again, I'm really impressed with Evan's skill in supersonic aerodynamics. He just really knows his stuff, especially when you consider the weird objects he makes his slugs out of. So while we were digging through the front of the vest trying to find what we thought was a little lump, this thing came tumbling out the back. You can see, of course, there is no primer or no uh, striker mark, right? Because there you wasn't... can see it's caved in there. Yeah, definitely a little concave. That, that should have set it off, but... Yeah, well, that compound or that primer compound that's in a 22 round, I don't know, might need a harder strike. Maybe. It bent the base, you can kind of see there. The rest of this thing is not too deformed, but that is the tip of a 22 round right there. So. Yeah, so it did not go off, so it's a... A failure, essentially. Yep, it's still buried in there. Uh, no ejection. <laughs> failure to feed, uh, failure <laughs> to eject. Well, let's try it in some ballistic gel and see if we can't get it to at least separate. Yeah, let's... Maybe, maybe we can get a 22 round to somehow, whether or not it fires, maybe we can at least get it to separate and make a different wound track. Yeah, this is a, gel. people are going to be very upset. Maybe you got to have one go off. They're you always know? very upset, Jeff. I know. They're not upset over at Demo Lotion Ranch because he, he, he doesn't wear a t-shirt, he has a big fancy pool, and he shoots all kinds of silly things. Oh, okay. If you guys want, I'll take my shirt off. No. Okay. Okay, I am ready. Here we go. Whoa. Wow. Justin for a 30 second twirl. Whoa. Wow. 
So not really sure if you guys can see, we did some sciencing here for you. There is one 12 gauge entrance in this. This other, these other wound tracks are from a nine millimeter round from previous tests. One 12 gauge round that left a gas seal right there. On its way through, one wound track. I don't know if you can see that. It exited over here, but check this out. If you can see this on this end, look at that little dingus hanging out there. Yep. It's it, a cord. It, it, all the way through, I think. Yeah. Because here's what we found. Over in the vest, we found this brass monkey again with the big giant core ballistics gel core sticking out of it just like before and it goes all the way through so it just made a little, <laughs> little silly petty fun factory right through the middle of that thing but here was the interesting part we dug around this is the only time that we've used anything remotely uh, close to a 22 round so we know this is from this round yeah this is a 22 shell case this is obviously the case mouth this is the base or what we call the case head, that 22 bullet that used to be up here was shoved backwards by the force of the gel and more or less right out of its ass. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's the lead projectile turned around and squeezed backwards out of the base of the round. That's nuts. So that brass slug was pushing it from this direction against a whole lot of gel resistance this way and it shoved that projectile right through the ass of that thing and Presumably shoved this whole thing because it fits shoved this whole thing right out the back of the uh, slug as it went through So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean that's some... think how much pressure it takes to do that. That is some sciencing. Yeah However, we did not get separate ignition the 22 round did not go off on its own any of these tests. Yeah and uh, More or less just acts as a I don't know more of a plug <laughs> than anything else. Yeah. A dangerous plug that we would not but we recommend. we had to try it, you know? Of course. Oh my it, god, are you kidding? We have to try Not every it. science experiment is a success. I think Thomas Edison, it took him uh, three tries to invent the, uh, the phonograph. Lights, the light switch and the phonograph and the CD. He yeah. invented the uh, Taylor Swift CDs. <laughs> this looks like a uh, Teletubby now. <laughs> well, that's it. That's that all it. five rounds. That was I'm it. ready we to had... get the heck out of here. Yeah, it's hot really hot out here we're out here drinking hot hot water out of this jug it used to have milk in it so it's pretty disgusting but we appreciate you guys stopping by anyway I'm, I'm hoping you guys are cool wherever you sit and we hope you like this uh this test so until next video we will see ya Goodbye. i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you take the time to rate the video and appreciate the time we took to make this video for you as always, we appreciate your comments, your ideas, and your criticisms. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.